Hello everyone, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit the Tone. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit the Tone on Thurman's Guitars and Basses. In this series, I take intros, riff, licks, bits of famous songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. As usual, this is a recommendation-based format, so whatever song you'd like to see featured on here, please put it down in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. While you're down there, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much in advance. And without further ado, let's start with today's song, which is David Yun by Machine Head. Now, I was still a toddler when Burn My Eyes came out and I only discovered the song like way, way later. Uh, but it had such a huge impact on me all that way from like the San Francisco Bay Area. So like Machine Head and then followed with Pantera sort of were the backing track to my entire youth while playing Gears of War and, and just like listening to that kind of stuff. It was, it was, I mean, it, it really holds like a special place for me. I really like it. And so yeah, um, for that record, as far as I could find out, Rob Flynn was using a Nibonez guitar with active pickups into a PV5150 that was modded and maybe a Boss pedal in front of it. All of that is, is really cool, but it does sound kind of weird to me because uh, the, the sound is not the kind of modern type metal sound that you'd expect from that kind of setup. It's, it's really like scooped and, and really heavy and, and super full of low end and kind of floppy but brutal at the same time. Well, more on that in, the, in, the, in our amp and pedal uh, section later. But as far as the guitar goes, uh, an Ibanez guitar with active pickups is something that's pretty standard within metal. If you have one, brilliant. I do not. I have have that uh, beautiful, brutal looking Schecter Apocalypse with USA Apocalypse pickups, uh, which are really high output, which is good because they go into active pickup territory with no problem whatsoever. And there's going to be a lot of compression on them anyways. And yeah, at the same time, you can, I mean, they're still passive pickups, so they still react slightly differently. Uh, that being said, any humbucker really with a lot of gain and in the bridge position, by the way, which is our basic tone. Uh, all right, let's fix that in our amp and pedal setup. Now, as I said earlier, the sound is not really, at least in my ears, reminiscent of what you'd get with a, a boosted 5150, which is like the epitome of, of modern metal sound and uh, they probably like started started that kind of that kind of movement but as far as I can hear it it's still like a very scooped uh, sound not really mid boosted in the front and a massive low end so if you have a metal amplifier good on you if you have a 5150 the more so uh, be generous on the bass uh, if you however don't have that kind of gain setting on your amp, you can use a pedal, which is what I'm gonna do today. I stay true to my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. The controls will be as usual on the screen. And I'm gonna be using the Drakaris Distortion pedal by Wampler Effects. Drakaris is a really, really cool high gain pedal because it offers a lot of options. It can be a modern, tight sounding metal uh, gain structure, and at the same time, something with a lot more bottom end, uh, a lot more scooped, mezza-ish sounding. And to me, that's more reminiscent of the sound on, on Burn My Eyes. So I'm gonna be using it with these controls that you see on the screen now, magic. Really scooped in the open position, which is a lot more rich, mostly in the bass, and it's gonna take our sound there. <laughs> And that's it for our sound. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any closer than this. I really like this tone. Uh, it won't fit every mix because of 
well, the amount of bass, uh, essentially. But I think it comes pretty close. Uh, if you don't have to, as again, as usual, it doesn't have to be that pedal, that guitar, or that amp. You know, you, you can make it work with what you have, or different options, which, by the way, will be linked in the description box down below. Everything I'm using today, uh, some more options for pedals at different price points uh, that will help you get there. And with that said, let's jump on to the last part of this video, which is, as usual, the most important, and is how to play the song. All right, and starting with the usual disclaimer, if you want to spend some more time learning the songs, the tabs will be available in the description box down below. Before we get started, let's also make a quick note of the tuning on that song. The tuning is kind of odd. At least the, the, the way I hear it is it kind of sits in between like B and C, like drop B and drop C. It's like I'm tuned in drop C. So that's that's where we start. Drop every string uh, a full step down, down to D, and then the low D down to C. It's a standard drop tuning. It's being used in tons of songs. It's uh, it's really cool. Keep in mind that if you're coming from E standard, you might have to change your strings for something that's a bit thicker. Otherwise, it's going to be like really floppy. But that said, on the record, I don't think it's like drop C like on pitch. It sounds a little off to me. Like either I, I think a bit lower than drop C, but not quite drop B either. It's like kind of in between. So if you're playing to the track, just keep that in mind. It might not be exactly on the same pitch, but drop C is what comes closer and it's what they're using live. So there you go. And with all that said, let's have a look at our fretting hand for this intro. <laughs> Fairly slow, really, really aggressive. This is just like such a massive intro. It's not really complicated to realize, but it's kind of hard to realize like cleanly uh, because it's going to take a bit of control to mute the strings exactly when you should mute them so that your harmonics on the fifth fret uh, resonate uh, nicely. By the way, if it's the first time you hear something like this, if you're new to guitar, you realize that kind of sound by just placing your finger over the fret on the string. You don't push it down, you just put your finger there and then you pick the string. That's how you get that kind of result. It doesn't work everywhere on the neck, but you can figure that out with, you know, theory and stuff. So yeah, that's, that's how you get that sound. And you just pick normally on your right hand. By the way, let's have a look at that. And with all that done, I think that's it, guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Davijin by Machine Head. As per usual, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Please keep in mind that this is a recommendation-based format. So whatever song you'd like to see here next, just put it in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as possible. While you're down there, again, liking, subscribing, the bell and all that stuff. Thank you very, very much in advance. I wish you guys a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit the Tone.